Hello artists and welcome. Today we are once again working in the sculpture studio. In the skill builder video, we explored non-glue attachment strategies. Today, we will apply our knowledge of the cardboard and attachment strategies to create either a wearable object or a creature or animal. The materials that you are going to need for today are cardboard, paper rolls, and scissors. Once again, for the students at home, you can use cardboard from the boxes that you have at home, such as food boxes or packaging. You will also want some materials to decorate your wearable object or creature, such as drawing, painting, collage, or craft materials. Today, you can use glue or tape attachments or non-glue attachments. You could even use both. As a reminder from the skill builder, some non-glue attachments are rubber bands, toothpicks, ribbon, yarn, clothespins, rolled tin foil, and even some objects that have holes in them for connection points. Now let's do a quick review of the non-glue attachments. For the binder clips, you can use these to hold two pieces of cardboard together. The same goes for the rubber band. You can use those to hold things together, nice and tight. Sometimes you can even make them bigger as well. Then we have the toothpicks. You can use these a few different ways. You can use them to skewer. So then you're gonna go through the corrugation, which is this area between the cardboard, and then skewer it through another one. You can also poke holes. So be careful and you poke it nice through here and make sure that your fingers are away from where the hole is being poked so you don't poke yourself. There is also the clothespins. You can do it a whole different directions. And then there is the string or ribbon. And you can use those to wrap around or tie together. And then lastly, there is the rolled up tin foil and you can use those to wrap as well. Next, let's do a quick review how to make an X brace and an L brace. If you remember, an X brace is where you take two pieces of cardboard and cut slits in them and you want to make them just a little more than half. So they look like little Lego pants. And then you do that with the other one. And then you're going to take the two and slot them together. And then you have your X brace and you can layer cardboard on top of them and glue them that way. So you can use glue that way or tape. There are many different ways that you can mess around with the X brace. Next is the L brace. And there are two different ways of doing the L brace. The first is if you don't have tape. And so you're going to decide where you want it to bend to make the L. So I want it down the middle here. So I'm gonna take it and carefully bend it into the shape that I want. So here I have that nice L brace, that nice L shape. The other way is taking two pieces of cardboard and taping them together. So I'm gonna use my tape here. And then going to tape them all around. And then I'm going to bend it to the shape that I want. So there is the other L brace. After this video, 
I want you to look at the next few Google Slides for some different ideas and examples of both wearable cardboard objects and creatures. We want you to make your creation using at least two different types of attachments. Take your time so that your attachments are strong, so that no pieces are falling off. Embellish your creation using drawing, painting, collage, or craft materials. We can't wait to see what you create, artists. See you next time.